find out for sure and get back with them. You got some POs for it? Yeah. Um. I don't copy them because ink is pretty high on the computer. Um, those, like, I guess, and those hands. What's that? The POs? You scan them in right now? No. Oh.
two two applications here for the high risk rural roads um, project. Um, plus the link has on two eighty six and Edwards. Um, it's got a place here for the chairperson and two members. I guess as long as two members sign it, it's fine. Um, the total that's the uh, um, 90-10 split. Although the pavement markings and the fines are 100% um, funded, but um, the estimate from Cook Flat Struggle for the project is $585,000. So 10% of that being a H.
Well, he could get that. I think he needs to come present before the commission. So or or he he needs to talk to the if, if he didn't want to come to the commission, he, he needs to talk to Roger Denton. Yeah, he called, yeah, and Pauline could, she could direct a call too, Roger, but Roger did. Well, if they want to come up and talk to me, yeah, he may want to, he may want to talk to Roger first, so Roger could show him, because we discussed this in our work session last time, and yeah, Roger yeah, pointed uh, out, for building uh, because and Pauline had, is that had seen it and sent that in, and what he showed us from the map was, is that, according to his map, that line should be at least six or eight feet but south of the bathroom, yeah. and that would be at the extreme case. Drains and so on. Yeah, you know, and I think, I think, I think it, 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 it appears that they're maybe you know, 15, 20 yeah. feet away right now, at least. And, but so if they're getting closer, I'm they're getting like within two feet, uh, they may be infringing upon our top line company from here in Kansas. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, see somebody over there, you might just you should just tell them that uh, they need to verify that they can <coughs> survey well, those artificial survey farms. Otherwise, we have to go with our uh, based on what, our, what we have here on file. It's not what our two markets are not lined up with what we have on file. Yeah. But it should be a No. No, that's that'll be another expense. That's not 
he's very involved in his off time with the Boy Scouts and stuff. And so, uh, it's well, I mean, somewhere down the line, we're, we're going to have to get some help on some of that stuff. Well, if they don't have in house engineers, we may end up, but I mean, it's, it's you got to have 10% right there. Okay, and, then, and, then, and then that 10% turns into 20 for you because they, you know, that they will use top of their use of Cadillac instead of the Chevrolet, so because it adds to their to their checkers and stuff. So yeah, I, I yeah. if they can't furnish in the house engineering and stuff to, to kinda of help yeah, I mean, you have a pretty good idea of what you want. I mean that'd be nice. Yeah. Um uh, like I said I've I've got the plans for Jeff County. Ours is you pretty might. similar yeah. to that. I mean it's pretty close. But So there's a few things. Did they figure uh, wrap up with insulation? Like I said, I haven't even oh, opened okay. it yet. I just, I opened it on my phone and I just looked at the bottom number. I haven't looked at any of the details yet. Uh, CIC was on my computer installing some stuff, but I couldn't get in there and check on the number. Okay. Well, that's a start. <coughs> That's pretty good. What were the dimensions you had? Uh, well, it's 150 by 100, but that 150 was including a 45 foot lean to. So you got a 100 foot span. It's 150 foot wide, 100 foot long? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's pretty good span, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but like I said, 45 foot of it is lean to. And then we've got an 80 foot. The actual shop area is 80 by 100. And then there's a 25 foot added on to the end of that for the wash bay and the um, storage and like your office. Your office will be in the 80 by 100 building. Yeah. in that area and also there's a, a little L add on to the outside of the building and um, about half of the office and storage place will be the net and half of it will be in the actual 80 by 100 workspace. The 45 foot link and that's to park two big trucks or what's the... Well I figure we back our trucks in there and plus the graders because that goes
north? Um, no, they changed it. Well, almost this morning. Oh. Now, three four county is in red. Oh. The east was three four. From about right about through you down through at the end. And more than two. Yeah. That's third. Eight. Yeah. Eight percent. Yeah. That is a long night for me. <coughs>
We're going to pay the difference. So if you would pay their, instead yep. of deducting their account, you would, or deducting their wages, you would pay the full bill. Because you do all the size of the small part of the rent. I think it's still coming out of the check, so we don't have to make that adjustment. Okay. You want to pass that on to Chris to make sure? I have, but I'll do it again. All right, do it again. Okay. I have a couple of things today. First, not just the each year the Department of Ag requires that we do a national management plan. I make copies for each of you. And then if you approve it as it is, then I'll need your signatures on the original here so that we can submit those to the Department of Ag. Is this pretty much the same we did? It is. The only thing that I changed around a little bit was just some minor things with treatment. Changed the dates. I'm just mainly speaking of how we control them and how we monitor them.
so many per square inch. Or yeah, and when it's and when it's usually when it gets turned in like that, it's an obvious. I mean, you know. Yeah. So we both know being. This bag. This, this bag is my my nephew really would have been obvious. <laughs>
I just don't want to do this wrong. Okay. We'll look at the Oregon patent and so we need to. Okay. And, and so I need to the engineer to or stay or whatever. And I'll give you this to go with it. And then the question becomes what happens with this chunk of property here between what we had as the right of way and where this is. Does that thing go to the wall? That goes to the wall. Okay. And probably we need some statement that somewhere or some way that we transfer that to them and then what I end up doing is adjusting all the tracks so that they end up paying taxes on them. did you get the temporary easement on this too? Mm, no, I did not. Okay. Let me check those out. I, what I originally had, and I originally mapped the temporary easement was this. See, we can never find any proof of ownership on this. Yeah, that was well. Wow. That's what this purple area is. Is what we initially laid out as the temporary easement. Unfortunately, I don't remember where the documents are in which that was created. But, but the documents I was creating that from were not transfer documents. Anyway. They were just. You brought me something, I mapped this out. I'll have to go look at mine. And, I, and I don't remember what those were, but they were not, I, obviously not the transfer documents yet. Mm -hmm. And so, if we do that, if we have temporary easement, then, then that should be here. Uh, the way that reads, we'd be transferring ownership of this entire thing to them, and then this would just be an easement to you. Yeah, the, the crosshatch part should be remain the, the county. Okay, and the rest of them. We'll do them all out. Alright. Well, get with that to make sure because the title at the top, deed right of way to the public road, sounds good, but then when you're granting the rights here instead of transferring the property, it's just. Yeah. Well, now you've got to worry because uh, that's the way we've been doing it for a while. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I, I might be. Okay. Alright. In the end, what I have to be able to do is match the property out for taxation for Jim also. And that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, this came from a uh, uh, BG consultant, so. Okay. Um, okay, so. Well, and Pat said he thought that's what they were doing. Uh, was well, you give the land back to them and then you just take an easement on it. But, again, I, I don't know the answer. Okay, let me look through my file and see what I've got in there. I was thinking there was a, a temporary easement with this also. Okay. And I was thinking the, the temporary easement was this cross hatch and then um, the rest went back, but I will I'll have a phone in a second question. Alright. Just come see me and we'll get to work. Alright. Alright. I just came up here because I knew it was easy. I come up here because I can always get a little pad on Tuesday morning. Yeah, I wish he was here. Was but he looked at this and yeah. I had him look at that and I say, what do you think? And he said, well, you don't own the property. That's just an easement. And I said, if that's... Then he also went on to say, well, I think KDOT likes to just do easements and not own the property. And I said, I don't know. I'll just Roger. The way people call it. And about a couple other issues, and I just told them what we had talked about on mm -hmm. the market, and she said they'd got a door and they were going to stay two feet away from the bathrooms. And I said, our markings don't show that they should be even that close. They need to contact, or maybe they'll contact Pauline to get a hold of you. So one of them may call you, and then if they want to set up a meeting with the commissioners. But I think we need to address that. What you said, that I, I told him, I said, that if they had it surveyed, let them tell Roger or tell us, and whether she gets that all conveyed or not. But she said, when she sees them out there working, she'll go tell somebody. They're supposed to get in touch with somebody here. Because I want to address, too, if they're infringing, if they're on our property on the other side, too, according to the map line. Did she indicate whether they had it surveyed? She said they didn't, didn't she? No, she didn't say that. How much she said she had to have zero to do? I just got the folks. Then we're not survey folks. I, I know, but I heard you say, well, just show us the proof of your survey. That's why I, I 
told her, I said they need to bring to us either who did the survey or if they had surveyed or the proof. So. Okay. Okay. I will be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open to the conversation. Right. And, and again, uh, Lisa Chan, I, I serve at your will, so uh, if there's something you want, a direction you want me to take, I'm going to be true. Well, I think, I think we need to, I mean, I think we need to get to this. We, I think what we have or what you have on record should take precedent over what they have. Unless they've had a case of survey. If they haven't had a case of survey, then I think we can, I'm assuming we enter that in and then change it. But otherwise, I think they're at our mercy. As to buy and buy what we think is yeah. the is the property. Yeah. Uh, property. I don't know the property. And uh, yeah. let's say, and it, it may well, be one of those deals they're just testing to see whether we'll serve that issue. I believe I went through that with you and the worst case scenario, scenario you know, we've got a variations in where we could be based on uh, photographic data, but the worst case scenario was eight feet from the doors and the, and the best case scenario was 20 feet from, from there. So uh, I, we saw about a 12 foot area that they could be in, but two feet did not appear to me one. Well, well technically, when you looked at the line, it was it was less than two feet if you draw a straight line from where they set the poles. Okay. I mean, it was. But I don't know where the poles You'd have been on quite a dive to get into the bathrooms. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I just warn you whether they whether they just they're going to take it in their hands and not come to us. And I, I will. I know the guy that farms the ground. If I see him, I'll either call him or whatever. Say, hey, listen, give me what his name. Give me the owner's name and address. I will talk to him and just explain the situation that we're not going to here cause trouble, but we want to do whatever's right. I find it hard to believe they put the bathroom to the line back in the day. Right. The common sense. I would agree with you on that. And again, we can go back into the historic records we have. No one has been farming that area uh, that that we're looking at now. So that's because there wasn't 12, 15 out of beans that back in the day when Bob 64 and they didn't want to mess with mm -hmm. losing mm -hmm. money. But now they're losing money to make you want to get every inch they get. I think the FSA office is finding that some of the fields have gotten a little bigger because trees have been cleared away from the ditches a little bit more and now the field is that 20 acres is 27 and a half acres because they've got that much ground to farm. And, and this is not the only uh, shovelable acreage claim that we've had this week. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not kidding. It, this is not a mate. I mean, I don't want to... Uh, no, no. This is not a... A big issue is the fact that just let's just make sure that they're not infringing upon you know, taking advantage of us. Absolutely, absolutely, and and that's all I'm all I would suggest. Okay. I mean, they want we can we can look on an acreage too if they want to. All <coughs> acreages, acreages bring a lot of money. See me sometime. Just a visit.
approve the need to sign off on the application. And a motion to approve the should the vice chairman sign off on the EMPG grant application for EMP grant funds. I so move. I have a second that. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed same sign. I'll just stay here. The tab over his name to the one for the vice chairman. Just as a just one place. Yep, just that one spot. For the rest of us all, my colleagues' certification and all the hours and all that fun stuff. So, I was doing a little searching over the weekend. Grants for EMS equipment. Who's that? Can't hear that. No. I guess I've gotten a little hopeful once two or three months ago when I was doing a little searching on other counties that had built EMS stations. Allen County got a matching grant from Kansas Comp Chamber of Commerce or something. It was like $300,000. Well, I went on to the state EMS board and they got grants, but it's more like for, I'm guessing, like heart monitors. They will not conduct any ambulances. They will do nothing. Facilities. Well, that's them. So, I didn't know whether there's anything we could approach. Yeah. Anyway, I'll give you a 
side. Uh, or two different prices of car Yeah. Um, they I guess they may get different degrees of health. Oh, you can go from the baseline all too much to Cadillac. Um, right? They, they're doing a trial on Zoll, Phillips, and Lightpack. I might have a fourth one. The um, Lightpack is going to be one of your more expensive ones, but it's kind of the what everybody uses. I mean, you could, they last a very, very long time. You can get parts and batteries and all that. And, I mean, batteries are long for life after 1100 bucks battery, they're expensive. But they last, whereas Zoll hasn't been around very long that I've seen and have never filled. So, <coughs> it's, I mean, it, it was tough to spend $20,000 on one that is going to last a year or two. I mean, the, the flight packs that we have now, some of them are two we got to use from Heartland, and we have um, six, eight years, six years. So, that means you're better off to buy something that you know is going to last and, and be there versus buying a new brand that you've never heard of before and then it doesn't work and somebody doesn't care so well. But I've never heard of I mean, I've, I've never heard of those for my whole so. Well, While you're here, we're just kind of busy. Get a little bit of time to uh, your rescue vehicles uh, open and, and thinking down the road design and stuff. I think, uh, are they similar to a ambulance open? Mm -hmm. We're using the same size as right now. Or Not that? quite as tall. Twelve. You need twelve feet. No, we're using 10 feet. And that's, what, ten and that's what we designed for the... Oh, you know, the renovation? For the renovation, 10 by 10. We did a 12 foot door out in Effingham because there was such confined space anyway we wanted to get a bigger opening to where you could get a So a 10 feet door. door. That's what we have down there. Right so now. 12 foot building would be taller than Now, if they ever... So for the time frame, this is what we have. If they ever decide to go to... Uh, the bigger type three, like what Holden has, have you seen that big, that big monstrosity truck they have? Then it's going to take more work. But I just don't see why you need I don't either. <laughs> you just tell me. I mean, I, I, I mean, when you consider, to me, when you consider <coughs> 90% or 80% of the homes that are near the city, you've got such close acting hospitals as close as they are. You mean, if there's like that, why do you, what do you make it bigger? Is it, is it, is it got they were going to use it for transfer truck. Yeah, that's why they bought it. I'm hoping they were going to use it for a transfer truck. Um, I don't know why. The right rubber can send way more fuel, be more expensive to replace or repair. It looks nice. It looks good. It's pretty. <laughs> it, it, yeah, I have to get the.
you forget that they're a little different entity and they're not a fiscal year and they've only got four weeks or less than four weeks mm -hmm. before they have to have these reports so that they can file with the state and stuff. So yeah. we told Chris is up here and uh, is that what was who's who's the yeah. and we told them that whatever should take yeah. that. Smith, yeah. Smith, yeah. I said it I said whatever it takes even if you have to pay CIC to get back here an extra dime or so, get these people taken care of because you know we don't want to get in trouble with the yeah. state because the, the state can be lenient, but they can also be difficult. <laughs> well, <coughs> it, it just depends on the situation. If, if they they think they can penalize you with some kind of penalty or something mm -hmm. or defund you. Anyway, so anyway, you, you guys concentrate on that. And make so sure it's going to have to tell you this morning, which is our case manager in charge of all of our installation and whatever, and she said she'd be available so, at, by phone. We're going to try by phone first, and she can log on to whatever computer we're on, and then we can work through everything, and that's free. So we're going to try to figure out, and then if the figure out don't work, then we'll have somebody come up. Okay. Scary. All of a sudden, your computer starts doing things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you log into your computer over the phone. Yeah. And I think, oh, how much of my data are you taking, too, man? You too. I say we're doing that. You do have to see it. Well, I would be able to see it. Thank you. I was going to say, how can you tell? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> just be honest. You're not going to insult me. I, I, they, could, they could steal everything off my computer before I knew what happened. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> I would see it. Yeah, actually, I got Norton internet security. I mean, if, if, if they walk to his rejects once in a while, it's kind of good. I mean, they're pretty good. Yep. Yeah. If I agree. Yeah. So, I don't think he's done the same issue. She's over on the container the report. They do. See, so they're different from where it's connected. They don't have a department code in there on the front. They're different. Looks like, though, the CIC's doing this long enough.
<laughs> you just read the book. Yeah, yeah, it just, yeah. it, it's almost overkill. I mean, I can, yeah. because it's like I think you know, Jack had brought up. It's, 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 it, it's easy to just assume or forget about it, but I mean, somebody's sick. Somebody's on vacation. Somebody else is going to have to do that work. Right. So you're going to have, and, and when we try to emphasize, you know, have people, you know, cross train so that there's more than one person in the park right. that necessarily that does this and this exclusively. I mean, that, that to me seems to be on the downside of it. I mean, I'm sure they've heard some complaints about that before. Well, what they need to do is, you know, they're be able to post them, and I think they do. That's just why they're, why they're being posted, you can't do it. So why they're, why they're in the middle of putting their batch in, so say, I start a batch and I put on, put in 20 bills. Why do they put in those 20 bills on the day I'm doing it, and then post it? And then, you can, you can, you can, anybody can. Yeah. Anybody in your department can. Anything, anybody the county can do at that point. Whereas, it's just why you don't close your batch, is what they can't see. Well, well so that the maybe, batch, it's all okay. maybe that's, maybe they just fail to do that. So. Probably. Because we, that we had them, uh, they leave that yeah. open, in other words, just they, they have to leave that, open, I mean, just day after day after day. I mean, you're sick, I mean, you've been there, problem. But, I mean, put your bills in, close the batch. I mean, you post them for the, I mean, you know the payday that we're going to do, you can have 20 different batches for the same, co- for the same payday. I mean, all, all I have to do is, I want to pay all batches for this payday, and it pulls them all in on that, and it's more work for him. So, that's not a problem. It's just while they're in the batch and they haven't posted them yet, they can't see them. Unless you use the same password. How is your system? Is your system, what is the management system similar to that prior? We, um, you put them all, I mean, we did them under one thing. We didn't batch them in the But you could go into the vendor and you could see the ones that were in the tape. Mm-hmm. And in the tape, you could, it, was right. like it was the vendor. Because so we have a pending invoices report, you can go ahead and see what your pending invoices are. I think one of the other issues I remember, uh, I mean, you crash has got like three different departments within the department, or three different funds. Yeah, three different funds. Uh, yeah. And not, not every one of their bills as invoices. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. Numbers, yeah. I mean, Chris is trying to explain to them that, you know, to make sure they get where they're going if you put the invoice in. Well, he said some of them don't have invoice numbers. Well, he suggested they check and see with that particular company. We put account numbers. Account numbers, that's what he said. Some of them mm-hmm. didn't have the others. Who's that guy? Yeah, if it's not an invoice, for, for example, your phone doesn't you know, really work out on that. Unless it's having your account number. From that business. For the But you type it in one small ticket. Correct. So you type in your account number, and then we all need to do like 2014 05 for that. No, 2014 May. And then you type in your, so the next one's type in your account number 2014 06. Next one, 2014 07. We get the count of account, not to be the same, because then it'll say to give us a good voice. But that's, we went to that on training. We said, do your account number in the month, year in the month. For those. Mm-hmm. That's not hard. Mm-hmm. And then, and actually, that's kind of handy, because when you pronounce your report, it's spelled it out right there. I mean, yeah, yeah. Have, uh, if you're, if you can ask the computer to sort out what I mean, yeah, It'll do it by month, but when you do a general ledger report, you can see. You can see that there also. I think problem two is that you're very knowledgeable about this, so when you was going through the CIC, you probably picked up that. real quick where someone, for example, me and Mike on computer, we don't know that much. I don't think it hurt to have a back in ever. Because yeah. Chris thought that he thought that uh, well, not the training session was could have been better. I mean, I'm not opposed to the pressure that we feel that it would come. Um, because we grew, 
instructions on how to do everything.
Exactly. Now, just talking, how come it's 2,400 square feet when that down there, there's only 2,000 square feet? That one up there? Yeah. Well, they don't have, they don't have, uh, uh, there's, there's going to be a training room, and there's only one bathroom, I think, up there. But I mean, the entire building up there is only 2,000 square feet. Yeah. Ambulance and all. How many bays? Two. Two, I think. Mean. Yes. Yeah, this, this will be three bays. I mean, it's just curiosity, because I've had a lot of people... Well, it's going to have 30 size conference room, which they don't have. Well, it's a training room. 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 The training room may be going to cost that. I mean, it's just... That's nothing. I mean, because you're not equipped with anything as far as it goes. But I've talked to several other counties. I mean, it's, it's going to cost you... Uh, it costs you... That part of the building, you know, you're looking at anywhere from 80 to 100 dollars a square foot to build a building that's got the living well, you lit, You've got ADA, you, you've got city codes to meet. I mean, it's you witnessed when Nick Tate told me about the inch and a half of copper line. Did you hear him say that the day that you was down there at Tate's the day I was down there? I was down there. I, I, didn't, I know how expensive it is, though, because I deal with it. Uh, he also told me there's a lot of things that I don't know. Well, we're hoping to find that out because once we set it up, we're supposed to get the plans and everything and stuff. But that was, there just seemed to be a lot of old guilt in the on that. So, I mean, the, the whole idea of, of, of the location is great. But when you consider that, that building was built as just a shell anyway, insulated and then to put plumbing in there and then you got tear concrete out and then put concrete back in. Mm -hmm. And what that leads to is on the front, you know, I didn't even realize that, but there's just enough slope and that music they was going to extend that out. Well then you got to tear that concrete out and put a new pad in there to make it level. How come they going to extend it out? To make it big enough for the for the base. So you have that base space. And you thought the value of Yeah, t a two bay, a two bay basic ambulance station uh, in Pottawatomie County. Uh, the three bays. Right three hundred thousand. I believe that uh, for brand new. Yeah, I think we'll be I don't know. Everybody's asking me. Um, um, well, we don't. We 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 scrap that idea pretty fast. We have 60 days to prove the company. The company gives them for 60 days. And, you know, we've looked at two or three other options. But, uh, well, I, you know, the part of the problem is we, we was told the price that the town that I would be going to live with it, but it's not coming out of us. So we really didn't do a lot of homework until we heard that last figure, and then we started checking into some stuff. That was the whole thing. If I, if I just showed you the progression, we started this in October, and we get this thing to be in December. Well, the next thing you know, they bring another proposal in December. Once a little bit higher, okay, we can still live with that. Well, then finally in February they bring the final proposal, and it's a little bit higher. And but but oh, we're pretty sure it's going to come in way up. Well, what comes at 140 thousand over what they estimated? What would you say? It's not good. No, I mean because the figure they were at, even at that last estimate, was still had up there pretty close to what you could build a brand new one. So how much room do Angus Barnes have? Do they have, because that's 7,000 square feet out there. Yeah, but say the rescue's almost. But it's still 5,000. I mean, how much? 40, no, it's 40, 46 or 4,800 for the other side. Yeah. Right. I, mean, I think they've been in for, what, 10, 
mean, so you got, I mean, you basically got a brand new building there. I mean, you get three walls, or actually two walls, the south wall, or the, the north wall, or the east wall was about the only thing they went with. Well, they had to put windows on it, so they just modified it. So, I mean, and steel was harder to work with than if you start with a wood building. So, I mean, it, it was. So, I was I would love to see that. If they're going to be the only thing I hear for the rest of the yard. So. And plus, I can set up a lot of negative comments about it. So, yeah, which it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, well, there'll still be a possibility we own that land <clears throat> that you still could build. You still could build a, it's like a 4,000 square feet, you know, for something for a living quarter. It's got to be out there that's plenty of room. And there's some advantages of having it right next to the first responders. That was, that was one of the nice things about having both of the buildings, you know, attached together. But, you know, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. And then when you had the contractor basically come up and finally admitted and said, you can build a new old chief and you can renovate. And I said, that's all, all I needed to know. <laughs> and my research was telling me exactly the same thing. Did you hear any responses on the uh, surplus stuff, or did you get those learned about surplus stuff in the courthouse? Oh, I didn't. Oh, you? I was going to take pictures and See, 
I thought this was a trailer that the Travis was telling me about, but they got a grant and they use it to haul their gator around, which is about one time a year. I thought that's what this what this trailer was for. I don't I don't I don't know where that trailer is. I, I haven't seen it. I think it must have belonged to the reserve. I thought that's what it was. Yeah, it wasn't that was a covered box trailer.
because we've been discussing the work session and we can take action on more. Or get the good thing about the trailer, you can keep one five or ten years, and if you keep it up, it can't happen with these. It'll bring it back. It'll it, it bring back what you get. Uh -huh. Almost. So I think that's both of these reasons. Well, yeah, because the price they give you is more. You go look at twenty five hundred dollars under this price. Yeah, I didn't believe it when it was coming all of this, but after looking at it, I will say one thing. Of course, they may get a county break. I had my lawn more service and new blades, and I spent four hundred and sixty seven bucks. So we were so proud of the house. Pardon? We were proud of the house. We were proud of the service out there. Yeah, yeah I would ask them when they have the uh, kit to service it and stuff like they do for the other county. So we'll, we'll do that in the house. That's not a problem. But the blades will be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> well, the kind of I think the blades was 70 and I think it was 100 and some bucks to put them on. And I was told that they got a machine and they'll just run it down there and sharpen it. And they look at them, yeah, your blades can be sharp. And the next thing I know, I go out there, your mom's going to die. They put new blades on it. <laughs> <laughs> that is a cut and Jesse. They say they're all good, huh? Yeah, they are. So, all right.
that the only department that didn't have it? I got Terry one. She didn't have a visa card. I think she was, she kind of used it. I remember once in a while Walmart did. I never do use my Walmart card. You can get too many credit cards in your pocket. Yeah, then it did. I never had any credit cards until you go out of town and you get your checkbook. You can have a million dollars and you just waste your time or a red card. So I had to get one. I haven't had one in any other time. I use it the least amount of possible. We need one time. I am going to get one of those credit cards. I'm getting tired of handing out free fans for some fuel. And then going out, I don't want to use my money, so then I have to go back in and get my change. So I'm getting one of those. Who do you pay for that? I'm going to pay the different bank. I'm going to pay the different bank. Well, they're going to fall in love with one bank. They're going to pay you. I've got all these banks coming around. No, I haven't got the new one. You've got a checking account, too, at Bank of Atchison. You get 2.5% interest on your balance of $25,000. I think that's a deal. When do they start that? Well, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to sign me up. You have to have 10 debits. 10 debits and one direct debit. You have to have one automatic that comes out of your account and a direct deposit. Mom did that. Your commission check would be. Yeah. If you had one bill automatically paid. Mom did that. She said, I got tired of asking her to make that. You've got to have a deposit and a withdrawal and I think 10 charges. So she'd keep track. She said, yeah, but it was not worth it. She couldn't do it. It's always worth it. It's things that you have to pay one of your bills, 10 debits. You have to get your statement through. Online. And it's online. Which is nothing. You just go on the computer and get your statement. When I built my new house, I set up a checkbook. I got my personal checkbook. I got the farm checkbook. I got a checkbook. I got one case I've never gone through. I got two. I got two. I got too many checkbooks. They're all nothing. They're broke. They're badly bent. Looks like they're broke. Yeah, but this rewards checking started off. They paid about five years ago. They paid 5% interest on the first 25 and 2.5% on anything over that. There's a little CD out there. They backed it down. It's only half percent on anything over 25. So that's why I told all of them to go in there. Don't get one of these things. It's worth your time. You'd be surprised if Deborah got me. You can go to the donut shop and buy a cup of coffee and a donut and swipe it for two bucks. And that counts. You go into Walmart and that's the same as using a debit card. That's right. The checks. You can buy a new debit card there. And a debit card can be used as a credit card too. So that counts for you. Roger and Matt conversed. And Matt is going to get the cue and all that. Mark Brown in the corner. Okay. What are we supposed to do? I changed the words. I think basically. I don't know. Well, yeah. Roger just needs direction as to how to identify it. Is what I get. I don't know. I thought that Roger was up here earlier. But either he needs to talk to B&G or else and or the state too. I think it probably is B&G. Because I think they, I think it was cheaper to do this than it was to do it. Matt said something about there never was no proof that we owned it. Well, yeah, there is. We have a darn road on it that we've been driving on for 30 years. There's some evidence that we have a hit. I just want, I was thinking maybe it means that was the county home out there. That when we decided to make that corner, it was county property. So we just made the corner. And then when the county farm saw it, I don't know. Well, we have it on all, we have it on, are there four, three of those? Three of those little curves. We have, there are no rights of way on any of the three of them that are recorded. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.
have two of those curves. Are there just two? And that one is a T. But I thought the one. Oh, that's right. Well, no, the T has a curve in it. That's the one we're at here, isn't it? Yeah, it has a curve, and then you go west there. And once you got a quarter of a mile from the highway, there's a curve. And it's one by the pine. The third intersection is just a T. That one by pine view, it doesn't have a curve. It has a curve. I thought it did. It goes straight through. There's a curve. No, the one west of pine view has a curve. That one there right at pine view doesn't have a curve. The old highway has a curve. Not right south of Pine Country Club. That's a T. Well, I guess it's a curve that goes around from the north to Sheila. Where's Sheila? Sheila's right there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Ye